Ableton Push is an amazing musical instrument that lets you perform live, as well as a valuable tool for any musician. I've been able to use the Push for sequencing in my studio for a few months and I've loved it. There's one function on the Push though that I just feels a little understated, and that's the ability for aftertouch. I've been working hard on creating a custom device with Max for Live to take advantage of the aftertouch aspect of the Push and use it in a whole new way. Thanks to collaborating with Chris, another Ableton certified trainer, and Akaro from Spectro Audio, I was able to put together these Max for Live devices. These guys were super helpful and I'm really grateful that through our collaboration, we were able to make this. There's a free download in the video description and I'll also talk more about it at the end of the video. Okay, so what is Aftertouch? Aftertouch is pressure sensitive. It's the amount of force held on a key. So in other words, aftertouch is a way of a controller to watch how hard you're pressing on a key or pad. Now let's look at using aftertouch with push. The easiest way to work with aftertouch is with a Max for Live device called Expression Control. If you drag this into a track and press the map button, you can map your aftertouch to any parameter. Then you can basically play and watch how that aftertouch is affecting it. There's a little example of me playing with that. One thing you'll notice is that initial hit is also sending aftertouch. That's because the hit is still a big change in pressure. I personally find this aspect of aftertouch making it really hard to work with. Now here's why. If I wanted to map the aftertouch to change the pitch of this instrument, then every time I hit the pad, it will start with a big jump in pressure due to the aftertouch message saying I hit it really hard. This is not at all what I'm going for and I don't find it that useful. What I really want is that when I press a note, it's playing that note out, it sounds normal and great, and then when I press harder, it creates a vibrato or a pitch change. Because of this, I spent the last few months working on a Max for Live device to help me do just that. So now, let's look at the Aqua Aftertouch Threshold device for Max for Live. So this is going to be a free device you can download, download links below, and let's look at what it does and how we can control it. And you notice when I'm playing this, I can play the note as is, and then when I press harder into it, I can create that vibrato change. Exactly the effect that I'm looking for. Now let's look at the specifics of this device and how we can get it to work like that. This device has an input and output meter. This really just helps you visualize what's happening with the aftertouch. So know that this input is just what's being sent into the device and the output is what I'm actually going to send to eventually to any parameter. Now if I change this threshold amount, then I can change where my aftertouch begins. So, if I have it at 120, that means I need to press really hard and send a lot of aftertouch message initially to actually be sent through this and then out to the parameter I have it mapped to. This is useful because now if I press lightly on the keys, I can play the notes and press harder, I send the aftertouch message. Now if I set this to 60, then I'm going to have to press it about halfway between you know, the lightest and the hardest to actually start sending a message. Now I can dial in the exact pressure that I want to use in playing with the aftertouch. I can then press harder and softer and see how this affects things. I've also got a smooth up and down. This helps you smooth the attack and release of the aftertouch, just making it really smooth sounding so it's not as jittery. Then the last thing we have to look at is the map function. When you drop this MIDI device in before an instrument, you can press the map button and map it to anything. I can map it to pitch, I can map it to a macro, I can even map it to a track volume, you name it. Just press map and map it. You can also press the X to unmap it, so then you can map it to something else. Then I have a range of minimum and maximum. If I have the minimum at 50, then the lowest signal being sent starts at 50%. So you'll notice when this is mapped over that the macro is about halfway up. 
And then when I press it, it's going to the full value, which is the 100, the maximum. So let's move this and see how it changes. So if I move it to 10, you'll notice it goes a lot lower. If I move it to 80, then it's shrunk the range from 80 to 100. The maximum is the absolute value. Great example of that is setting this to zero on the minimum and 10% on the maximum. Now my total range is really small, and this is the type of setting I need to use for the vibrato pitching effect. So I only want a small change in my pitch. Now I'm gonna add just one more level of control and awesomeness with another device that I've also included in this pack. And that is the Aqua Aftertouch Delay. Now the idea behind this is sometimes you want to delay the initial aftertouch. That way when I hit hard, or I'm hitting my notes, it's not sending an aftertouch, and then after a certain amount of time, it will start sending. I find this device really useful for controlling filters and different effects which are adding much more depth and changing of the sound in a more morphing over time type of way. Let's look at the actual device. So the first thing I have is the delay. And that's just a delay amount over milliseconds. So being really slow or at the maximum being a two second delay. Then I have attack and release. This is working a lot like the other device in the way that it affects the attack coming on and the, how slow the release is. Just really lets you have more control over the quality of the filter. So that was a rundown of Aftertouch with Ableton Push. I showed off these awesome devices that you can get for free, as well as some presets that I put together within this live pack. Check out subaqueousmusic.com in the link below to download the full pack for free. It includes four custom instruments, two custom bass presets, a drum rack, and two Max for Live devices. This is all free, so share it with your friends, download it, try it out. The pack is also part of a larger pack called my Aqua Push Pack Pro. You can download the larger live pack at my site. The larger Pro Pack has a lot more brainstorming things, creative new tools, and can get you playing the push with awesome ease. The file is over three gigs and includes tons of samples, instruments, drum racks, a live set for your performance, specialized audio effect racks for the push that make it really easy to use the different knobs, and much more. 